Welcome to Maybe Useful Channel. Today I'm going to show you how to set up Android 12 on micro SD card for uh, Orange Pi 5 uh, SPC. We need to download two packages uh, to set up this uh, Android 12 on micro SD card. Uh, let me show you how to download those files. Uh, those files are available on um, orangepi.org. Uh, go to that website and hardware and Orange Pi 5 and then download tab. Uh, scroll down and click uh, Android image and double click on Android image 12. And here we have three packages. Uh, I am going to write to the micro SD card. So I'm. This is the one we need to download. TF card image. Uh, click that one and then right click and download. We need to download the SD card writing tool, which we can download from the same website. Uh, go back. Go to the initial page, uh, and this is available on official tools. Uh, click download and you can see the Android image writing tool this is this is what we need to download mm, click this and download uh, I forgot to mention you may need to uh, log into the uh, Google Drive to download these packages I have downloaded those two files now I need to uh, uncompress these two files um, uh, let me right click and open with 7-zip uh, manager file manager I have 7-zip my file installed on my PC you can use any other unzipping tool uh, extract uh, close this and do the same for the other file as well the 7-zip is a free tool you can download from a uh, uh, website uh, let's extract this one <coughs> okay that's pretty quick <coughs> now I'm going to delete these other two files I don't need that anymore I haven't finished uh, unzipping this file there are further more to unzip here if you go inside there's another zip file inside this uh, Android image writing tools right click again <coughs> open with 7-zip file manager extract and done and uh, go back and uh, check the <coughs> TF card image here we need to download uh, we need to unzip this one as well actually there are two files <coughs> one is for LCD other one is for more normal monitor I haven't got LCD so I'm going to um, use this uh, normal monitor uh, uh, file let me unzip this file right click open with file manager extract you need to do this until you see the image, image file um, so we, I may need to uh, unzip one once again okay close that and uh, now you see this is a, initially it was tar.gz file now it's tar file again when I need to unzip so this is the fourth time I'm unzipping uh, open with file manager and here uh, extract so close now I don't see this uh, uh, tie anymore so I, I am seeing this image file so this is the one I am interested in and I can delete all the others I can get rid of all the others right uh, I have the image file here so let me go back and I have the Android 12 image in this folder and uh, SD card writing tool here Let, let's open the SD card writing tool so I don't need the zip file anymore now I open this uh, SD card writing tool click and then oh, uh, in here you see the exe file just write um, click the file and right, right click and add 
run as administrator click that oh I am seeing in in Chinese language so I need to change to English I will show you how to do that close this uh, app and go to config.ina file uh, then here these uh, language is selected as one one is Chinese I guess uh, number two is English just change selected equal to number two and file save and close <coughs> now open this uh, exe files once again run as administrator click yes yes I'm seeing in English I have already plugged in my uh, micro SD card using my micro SD card adapter uh, if you haven't done it so you just close this app and plug your my micro SD card into your PC and then open it again and then select the uh, micro SD card make sure you select the micro SD card all the time uh, accidentally you may choose the different drive and it will wipe out everything so be careful about that see so, so my S micro SD card is 16 GB so it's showing as 14.8 GB that's fine first of all we need to <coughs> um, format and uh, create partition uh, so for that you need to select upgrade firmware right and make sure you select the micro SD card I'm telling you again and again and click uh, tick the um, uh, upgrade firmware and click restore this will create um, um, uh, partitions and format the drive let's do that it's warning you again click yes it's done now we need to uh, upload this uh, image file into the micro SD card so f in order to do that uh, we need to select SD boot here and make sure you have selected the micro SD card I'm telling again and again and then um, then uh, upload this uh, image file that we have downloaded already uh, firmware and go to download uh, TF card image and orange file Android 12 image right now this time we need to create uh, we need to click create button so click create button so this is the last step I know this reason for this failure because I haven't opened this uh, tool as an administrator so let me close this and right cl and right click open as administrator click yes and now select the SD card and make sure you're selected uh, uh, SD card here and then uh, make sure you're selected uh, SD card boot this time and select your firmware that is your image file you have downloaded and it's under tf card image folder click that and open it now click create and a second warning yes so it's now it's writing so it's make sure you are opening as an administrator otherwise this uh, this tool doesn't work properly upload is complete now it's time to uh, remove this uh, SD micro SD card from my PC and plug into this my orange 55 SPC uh, micro SD card into this orange 55 and turn on ah it's opening yes uh, Android 12 is on my orange 5.5 now
my Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. I have a dongle uh, which is a uh, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth dongle connected to the Orange Pi. I have put another video about this dongle. Uh, this will work so, with uh, Android 12 uh, driver free. So it's have have a look. Let me go and check my Wi-Fi and internet. Yes, Wi Fi is working fine and Bluetooth. So, Bluetooth is on. Yeah, thank you for watching. Uh, have a great day.